curse. How can you fall in love with anything that bring your lineage to a compromise of who they are? I, I'll tell you how. Because he fell in love with the daughter of Pharaoh and strange women because they did not behave. They did not act like they did not talk like the sanctified women of Israel. You don't want nothing sanctified with your nasty self. You a freak. You're a degenerate beast. You need to be delivered. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me up in here. Jewish writings and changes them over into the classical Corne Greek so the enemy understood if I can change your language then I can strip you of your character I can strip you of your context then I can compromise your religion look at some of y'all you know you didn't born and raised in church looking like that I ain't talking about no outward appearance now either I'm talking about your temperament your attitude your functionality I'm talking about your mindset there was a time you knew you was wrong and you wanted the preacher to stand up and say you are wrong but now you want a vanilla message you want a tiramisu message you want something that tastes good and look good but it does not help you get to the next level Oh, my time is already out. Okay, so let me throw it out here like this. Because we have become so ecumenical and not ecumenous, because we should be ecumenous, we should be ecumenical, but the problem is we have become so interfaith conscious, meaning that we allow anything in our space and we don't allow it there for us to transform it we allow it there to become comfortable with our weak practices oh I'm gonna get in trouble in here now in Deuteronomy chapter number seven it says this when you get into the promise of God there will be seven nations greater and mightier than you that I do not want you to enter into covenant with uh oh I, I know where I'm going you are not to cut covenant with anybody that is not going in the same prophetic direction as you in fact he said Moses tell my people don't give your daughter to their son or their son to their daughter now y'all don't turn channels on me now you want to date whoever you want to date and bring that mess up in here and then don't want me to say nothing about it oh but i'm gonna talk about that foolishness how dare you bring something in the house of God that is antithetical that is oxymoronic to everything that you practice and then you don't want me to say nothing about it you know why you don't want me to say anything about it because it ministers to your flesh yeah that hit tight that Gergeshite, that Hivite, that Jubashite knows how to do stuff that the Israelite cannot do. Okay, y'all gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Prove it to me, Bishop Page. I'm glad you want me to. In First Kings, the Bible said it like this: that Solomon loved God, but he also loved the daughter of Pharaoh. How do you fall in love with anything that took you into generational curse? How can you fall in love with? anything that bring your lineage to a compromise of who they are I, I'll tell you how because he fell in love with the daughter of Pharaoh and strange women because they did not behave they did not act like they did not talk like the sanctified women of Israel I, 
You don't want nothing sanctified with your nasty self. You're a freak. You're a degenerate beast. You need to be delivered. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me up in here. But here is the problem. We got too many pseudo believers that want to act sanctified and act holy and act like they got it together but got skeletons all in the closet I'm gonna get in trouble in here now do you realize that there is nobody in this building that is completely delivered okay see 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 See, see, see what I mean? See, you going to sit up here and act like you, you, you a liar. Ain't nobody in here completely delivered. And wait, I'm going to add insult to your misguided theology. And there are some things you will never be delivered from. The only thing that brings it under control is age and attrition mixed with the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me now. Now since they gonna look at me kitty like I don't know what I'm talking about. Bishop they gonna look at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me take you to the Bible cause y'all should respect the Bible. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter number 12 starting around verse 6, 7, 8 and 9 he says it like this. I could boast but I won't boast because you are not iconoclastic enough to deal with my resume my dossier and my biographical sketch you think it's about person I don't use the word being sanctified because you don't like that Wesleyan traditional Methodist theological term because it, it makes you feel like you have become an acidic or a legalist but there is something to being different and being holy and being distinct I know we don't talk about that much because we we have we have become a melting pot where uh, we we fraternize and we rub elbows with people that do not go in the same prophetic direction as us and it has become in vogue it has become fashionable to have friends that do not have your same spiritual conviction and then we have the audacity the unmitigated dumb theology to feel as though because the father of our faith Abraham may be the father of the faith of Judaism and Islam and the mysticism of Buddhism and Hinduism which is the oldest religion to mankind we believe that because we have some similarities that they are the same thing no they're not the same Thing. Yeah, the closest thing to what you practice would be called Judeo-Christianity because everything you do comes out of the cradle of Judaism. You cannot sit up here and call yourself a Christian and you have any anti-Semitic feelings about God's chosen people. The devil is a liar. Everything. Thing you do comes out of a Jewish context. Jesus was not a Christian. Jesus was a Jew. 